Welcome back to the human eye. With this presentation, we will tackle about the following parts of the human eye, functions of the parts, defects of the human eye. Now, the fundamental parts of the human eye are cornea, iris, pupil, lens, vitreous chamber, macula, retina, optic nerve. Coming to the functions of the parts of the human eye. The human eye is the sense organ which helps us to see the colorful world around us. The human eye is like a camera. Its lens system forms an image on a light sensitive screen called retina. The eyeball is almost spherical in shape with a diameter of about 2.3 cm. Light enters the eye through a transparent membrane called cornea. Behind the cornea is a muscular diaphragm called iris, which has an opening called pupil. The pupil controls the amount of light entering the eye. The eye lens helps to focus the image of objects on the retina. The ciliary muscles help to change the curvature of the lens and to change its focal length. The macula allows us to appreciate detail and perform tasks that require central vision such as reading. The vitreous humor comprises a large portion of the eyeball. It is a clear gel that occupies the space behind the lens and before the retina at the back of the eye. Because the eye must process visual data, this liquid must be clear enough that light can easily pass through. The optic nerve transmits electrical impulses from the retina to the brain. It connects to the back of the eye near the macula. Now, coming to human eye defects. Defects of vision. The major defect is myopia. Not everyone has perfect eyesight. Short-sighted people can see clearly things which are closely, but they cannot Focus on objects which are far away. For example, they may read the print in a book easily but are unable to read a distant road sign. This condition is known as short sight or myopia. Myopia is also known as nearsightedness. It is a myopia is otherwise known as nearsightedness. In this defect of vision, a person can see nearby objects clearly but cannot see distant objects clearly because the image is formed in front of the retina. This may be due to increase in the curvature of the eye lens and increase in the length of the eye bone. It can be corrected by using a suitable concave lens. Next, long sightedness or hypermicropia or far sightedness. In this defect of vision, the people can see distant objects clearly but cannot see nearby objects clearly because the image is formed behind the retina. This may be due to decrease in curvature of the eye lens and decrease in the length of the eyeball. It can be corrected by using a suitable convex lens. Next, pest biopia. It is a defect of vision in all people in which they are not able to see nearby objects clearly due to increase in distance of near point. This is due to the weakening of the ciliary muscles and decrease in the flexibility of the eye lens. It can be corrected by using suitable convex lens. Sometimes they are not able to see both nearby and distant objects clearly. It can be corrected by using bifocal lenses consisting of both concave and convex lenses. The upper part is concave for correction of distant vision and the lower part is convex for correction of near vision. Next is astigmatism. Astigmatism is a defect. When the light rays do not all come to a single focal point on the retina. Instead, some focus on the retina and some focus in front of or behind it. This is usually caused by a non-uniform curvature of the cornea. 
A typical symptom of astigmatism is if you are looking at a pattern of lines placed at various angles and the lines running in one direction appear sharp, while those in other directions appear bold. Astigmatism can usually be corrected by using a special spherical cylindrical lenses. This is placed in the out of focus axis. That is, for example, if you have considered if you consider a graph paper, astigmatism depict person can able to see either vertical lines or horizontal lines clearly, the other lines will be blurred. Now, a cataract is a clouding of the lens which prevents which prevents a clear sharp image being produced. A cataract forms because the lens is sealed in a capsule and as old cells die, they get trapped in the capsule. With time, this causes a clouding over the lens. This clouding results in blurred images. This, this capsule formation is due to the carotene layer coverage that is a protein layer in front of the eye lens. Age related mac macular degeneration ARMD. It is a degenerative condition of the macula, the central retina. It is caused by the hardening of the arteries that nourish the retina. This deprives the retinal tissue of the nutrients and oxygen that it needs to function and causes a deterioration in central vision, glaucoma. This is a disease caused by the increased IOP, usually resulting from the malfunction in the eye's drainage system. The eye produces a clear fluid, aqueous humor that fills the space between the cornea and the iris. This fluid filters out through a complex drainage system. It is the balance between the production and drainage of this fluid that determines the eye's intraocular pressure. IOP Increased IOP can cause irreversible damage to the optic nerve and retinal fibers and if left untreated can result in a permanent loss of vision. Persistent of vision. The image of an object formed in retina does not vanish immediately. It stays for one sixteenth of a second. This is called as the persistent of vision. Any image that is flashed more than 16 images per second would be seen as moving. Care of your eyes. You should have regular checkup for your eyes if there is any problem. You should go to an eye specialist if advised use suitable spectacles. Never look directly into a very bright source of light like the sun. It can damage the retina of the eye. Never rub your eyes if some particles dust or dust go into your eyes. Wash your eyes with clean water. In case there is no improvement, visit a doctor. Wash your eyes frequently with clean water. Always read at the normal distance for vision. Do not read by bringing your book too close to your eyes or keeping more far. Always read under proper light. Do not read in a moving vehicle. Avoid watching television or working on a computer for long sessions. Always take a break at to rest your eyes. Script for the visually challenged that is the Braille system. The Braille system is a method that is widely used by visually challenged people to read and write. It was devised in 1821 by Louis Braille, a blind Frenchman. Visually challenged people 
feel the dots to identify the character written in Braille system. How do Braille system works? Visually impaired persons devise a number of techniques that allow them to complete their daily activities. Their other senses like hearing are usually much sharper than in others. Thus, they often tell who has entered a room even before that person speaks. They can locate the direction from which they hear a sound. Most of them develop their own intelligent strategies which help them succeed in all areas of personal and professional management. For example, visually impaired people can do almost everything that people with normal sight can do. There are a few things such as driving a car or flying an aeroplane that they cannot do it. They are in many professions as successful teachers, students, lawyers, computer engineers, musicians and writers. Have you heard of Helen Keller? She was deaf and visually impaired and yet became a role model for millions of people. Read her story. There are many more such successful stories. Find out about them.